Dan from Mojo Outfitters, and I am here in my, one of my good friend's backyard. His name is Brian. He's going to show you how to make bake Mojo pizza. Uh, Brian has been uh, baking pizzas for quite some time now in the Mojo. He's one of the first customers to do that, and he uh, wants to show everybody the perfect technique for making baking, I should say baking, uh, Mojo Pizza on his Weber Kettle Grill. Hi, my name's Brian, uh, Cam was just talking about, and uh, yeah, I was uh, really excited when Cam started producing the uh, Mojo Grill. I saw his video on uh, the uh, uh, was Mongolian barbecue, which was really cool. But I still didn't know that I would actually have much use for a, a Mojo Grill until he put up his um, video about making a pizza. Now that's something I've always wanted to do, was make a pizza on my, um, on my kettle here. And by, jo by Joe, he's, he's gone and done it. So I went out and got one. And as Cam says, been making pizzas ever since. But each time I make it, I adjust a little bit and a little bit, and it's gotten better and okay, better. Okay, we're back. And uh, the coals are now nice and hot. They're all started. And I'm going to knock them down, and we're going to set up the, uh, the grill uh, as, as a pizza oven. So just knock these, these guys down so there's nice, even coals. Wow, that's hot. And that's the way I want it. Okay, got the coals. Miso, get off of there. Ugh. Then we put on... The Mojo Grill, and uh, it's set up so that it's got a standoff around it, so it's really nice. The air comes through, and um, it just fits right on there very nicely. And then uh, you don't have to like in, uh, clean it off or anything or oil it because we're not going to actually cook on this. Uh, what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, is put a pizza stone on it. Now my pizza stone has standoffs, so I can just put that on there, and that's going to be fine. If you have a pizza stone that is flat, you've got to stand it off a bit because this is going to get really hot. You want to do that, uh, have a little space. Okay, put that. Then we want a thermometer so we can see how hot it is in there. And to complete the oven, just put on the top, just like that. That's all there is to it. You want to let this sit for about, I would say, 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe, so, so it gets nice and hot in there before you start to cook. Okay, so while that's heating up, I'm going to roll out the dough. And I use a, a recipe that's a cuisine art uh, dough. It's pretty easy. It takes about 40 minutes to uh, get uh, ready. And uh, I'm going to make two pizzas today, so I've used half the dough. Let's roll that out. Alright, we have our base. And just one thing I want to tell you about, be sure, is we want to have this uh, the pizza be able to slide off onto the paddle there, I mean onto the stone from the paddle. And to do that, um, I usually throw some cornmeal down on the paddle, and I've never had any trouble uh, once I've done that. It slides off even if I have a bunch of stuff on there. Okay, well the uh, pizza stone and the mocha's warming up there, I'm going to prep um, my first pizza, which is, I've got a pesto uh, sauce here that I'm going to use for my base and then I'm going to put tomatoes, basil, fresh, fresh mozzarella and peppers on this one. And it's going to be good. The, uh, the really great thing about uh, cooking on this mojo setup is that the crust is going to be thin and crispy but the uh, toppings are going to be like, uh, like cooked but not like dry or anything like that. They're going to be nice and, you know, uh, just tasty. Uh, 
uh, they don't get fried or anything. Pesto, three down tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. These are from the garden. Dribbling pies. I guess I got to advertise the garden. Everything here is garden except the uh, mozzarella. Okay, the oven is up to temperature, which is about 400 degrees, and I'm about to put on the pizza here. Just want to say that I'm doing a thin crust pizza, and uh, I really like how that gets nice and crispy on, on the uh, pizza stone with the mojo here. Uh, if you're going to do a thicker crust pizza, you're kind of on your own. I haven't tried that, but I bet you're going to have to uh, make some adjustments. In any case, uh, yeah, let's take it off here. Okay, now I'm going to slide this on. A couple of mozzarella there, and we're set to go. Just close her up. While pizza number one is cooking, I have time. I'm going to go ahead and make my second pizza and have it all ready to go on when this one's done. Okay, seven minutes later. Look at that. It is perfect. Piping hot. Crust. Beautiful. Let's cut that baby open. And the crunch there. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Let's take a look at that. Alright. Ooh, that's hot. Mmm. I love that crunchy crust with the fresh mozzarella that's melted a little bit. That's yeah, pretty hot. Pizza, ooh, ah, pizza, pizza, pizza. Ooh, ooh, I'm a dog. I like pizza. Ooh, ah. <laughs> pizza number two here. Uh, what I'm going to make is I have a uh, olive oil with garlic and oregano. Um, base and just uh, spread that around. Now this pizza, uh, I have uh, smoked Gouda cheese. I'm going to put that on the base here. And then I have some uh, leeks. And then with that, I guess it's kind of a breakfast uh, pizza. I've got potato. I cooked this potato before, you know, a little bit in the microwave, so it's not completely raw. And spread that. And then uh, some nice prosciutto on top of that. Just lay it down in strips here. And on this pizza, uh, we put a little egg on top, courtesy of our chicken buffy. All right, so we'll give that six, seven minutes and see what we have. Okay, pizza number two. Wow, look at that, all ready. Beautiful. Boy, you see the type of smoke. Let's get the cover here. And I'll just cut a small piece here off the side. And what we do, Dip a little of that in the egg yolk. Mmm. That's just so nice. The garlic. Oh, you can't. I can't. I can't go. Uh, I can't kiss anybody tonight. So there you have it. My buddy Brian is a Mojo Pizza Baking Pro, and I can't wait to get into this. And one thing you ought to know is that you can use a Weber barbecue to bake a pizza or you can use your campfire to bake a pizza. 
um, it doesn't matter as long as you've got a nice hot heat source uh, you, you can make uh, pizza all day long you do need a Weber lid to do it so and that's it and I love the smokies done by this hickory there so try it yourself I would go thin crust first try it it's awesome Thank you.